Off the start, it was a Collie and a KTM out front, but it was Ryan Villapoto and Jeff Alessi setting the early pace in the third and fourth. And that's when the fireworks started. Where Mike was, he hit the panic button there a little bit. Out front, the rookie Villapoto is throwing his name as Cardinal and Boyd. His reputation takes another hit. Out front, Langston is ending the season how he started it, winning motos. And while Kawasaki was celebrating another overall win. Looking to be consistent and put himself in the box and win himself a title. We're underway. Main event time. And out front, Darcy Lance and Ryan Villapoto. And during the break, and how strong Ryan Villapoto could be if he did there. The he gets section. through the whoops exceptionally well. And good enough to take the lead. Andrew Short wins. He's... And it's Ryan Villapoto. All that hard work, all those laps, all that practice for Ryan Villapoto. Here he comes for Ryan Villapoto, his first Supercross like victory. Never been up here in this spot. I've only been uh, second from at my first one, so that was pretty good. I done it with all my sponsors, my mom and dad. Uh, you know, my trainer, Randy Lawrence, and uh, um, Monster Pro Circuit Energy, uh, Kawasaki, Amp Mobile, Thor, Maximus, Fox, and Parts Unlimited, thanks a lot, and uh, Renthal. Langston just a little bit off course right there, made Villapoto's job just that much easier. He goes by in the third position. Same spot. Villapoto passed Josh Grant to go into second place. The leader, Andrew Short, was next. Ryan Villapoto, can he make the pass right here? Side by side with Andrew Short, jumps in the air, looks back at him. That's the way you like to get it done. Uh, I used to hate it when guys would uh, peek over at me off the jump like that and look at me when they pass me. Able to pass up to eighth place and third overall. For Villapoto, a 2-1 gave him his first ever national victory. For Pro Circuit Kawasaki, it was a day to forget as round two winner Ryan Villapoto and Grant Langston both didn't finish the moto due to mechanical problems. Andrew Short, those are clearly the favorite positions. Alessi with a good start as usual. Villapoto went from fourth to first, displacing Boniface less than a lap later. For Alessi, it was another disastrous moto as he only caught up to 16th. Villapoto turned his fortune around with a moto win. In moto one. This time out in front, uh, a more familiar Mike Alessi. Villapoto began the moto in fifth place and quickly started plowing through the riders, including Andrew Short. He was up the back tire of Alessi by lap eight. Rivalry going back all the way to their mini bike days at Loretta Lynn's and, and uh, big amateur national races. So, lap rider moving over out of the way of the leaders. Alessi with another big dab in the dirt there. Villapoto a little smoother through that particular section, but there's only a couple of bike lengths between them. And Villapoto has already passed a half a dozen guys to get where he is. He passes Alessi. Alessi turns in on him and they make contact. RV squared that one up and just went straight under him. Kind of gave him a glance back like. There might have been some uh, malicious intent there. I don't know. Alessi dropped to fourth, and Villapoto became the first repeat winner of 2006. Mike Alessi. Villapoto left the pack right from the start in the first moto, while Alessi tried to find that speed he had in round one. Villapoto winning, and Alessi third in moto one. The championship gap was now down to only two points. From third to second briefly, back to third. Andrew Short is right there. He moves past Villapoto for a moment. And then Villapoto with the inside line just looked down at his bike for a second there. Wow, look at this. Oh, and Ramsey, both of them stall out up front. Ramsey gets the lead. And wow, this is great racing. This battle right here is worth the uh, cost of your admission ticket. This is what you came to see. He gets it back. Josh Graham with the lead. Ramsey is there. Villapoto's all the way back to fourth position. And Andrew Short's challenging for second. And finished seventh. Up front, the last two riders fighting were Short and Villapoto. The 51 Kawasaki took over the position and the eventual overall. This is going to put him in the points lead as well, so now he's in the driver's seat for this championship. Well, the rider avoids being lapped, and Ryan Villapoto picks up the win here, takes the checkered flag, and the fans at Unadilla have seen a wonderful performance. Ryan Villapoto came into round seven with a three-point lead in the championship. A good start in Moto 1 and a big miscue by lap one leader Ryan Sipes left the Kawasaki rookie all alone out front. At the halfway mark of the season, 
Villapoto had momentum on his side. Amateur days. Oh. Villapoto on the green 51, unless he goes by him into second position, or stays in front of him in second position. And Andrew Short's going to call it a day, it appears. And the Honda has given up on him. Uh, I, I guarantee you, he's swearing like George Bush at a UN convention with a live mic right now. Villapoto trailed Hepler for several laps before finally making his move in a drag race up the start hill. As he's done much of the year, Villapoto pulled away before his competition could retaliate. With Alessi's third overall, Villapoto was able to put another 10 points on his rival with five races left to run. Ryan Villapoto came into his home track with a 13-point lead in the championship, but he still found plenty of competition on hand. Villapoto having more than his usual amount of trouble making forward progress here. Ryan Villapoto is out of the race. The bike has somehow wow. given up. It's locked completely up. He can't even kick it. In Moto2, Villapoto was back and worked through the pack after a bad start. Villapoto looking like he might want to make a move right here and does a block pass on Michael Lessi. Not rude, but a little crude, you might say. In any case, Villapoto gets the spot. Well, Villapoto's certainly not trying to make up and be buddies, that's for sure. Like the first moto, Short was the fastest rider in Washington on this Sunday, as even Villapoto couldn't catch him after moving into second. And there it is, the checkered flag waving for Andrew Short, who's gone 1-1 on the day to earn the overall victory here. In Moto2, Villapoto got off the gate cleanly and immediately went after Hepler for the lead, which he quickly took over. The number 51 Kawasaki rider left with a 20-point advantage as Alessi could only manage fourth place in the second moto. Alessi with the KTM, and we've gotten used to seeing him uh, get hole shots earlier this season. That hasn't been the case lately, but once he gets out in front like this, he is... The person that was troubled on this day was Ryan Villapoto, who needed a second place in the first moto to win the championship if Alessi finished first. However, somebody obviously forgot to tell Ryan that because he went for the win after starting outside the top 10. Just like that, picks up another spot. Boy, this kid is on fire. Oh, he's ridiculous. And here he goes up the hill. Ryan Villapoto into second position, just like that. And now he's in the, in the spot that could clinch this championship here in the first moto. In any case, they're side by side. Villapoto edges out in front just for a moment, throws a wheel at Alessi. Not much, but just a... There it is, the checkered flag, it's official. Ryan Villapoto has won the moto, and the congratulations are coming to him because he has also won the 2006 AMA Motocross Lights Championship. In Moto2, Villapoto joined his Motocross the Nation's teammates in showing off the colors that they were to wear at the big race in England. His racing mood at all, as he attacked just as hard as he did during the other 23 motos throughout the year. There it goes. There Inside it is. it is on the downhill turn. And not losing any drive at all. He takes it right up the hill. And just like that, Ryan Villapoto. A championship and an overall all in the same day. What more could a rookie ask for? For Ryan Villapoto, the 2006 AMA Motocross Late Series was a dream season. And he still has so many more years left to do it again. Yeah, I really like crap. Got down my I mean, the only advice I can tell you is just try to not get caught up in those hooks and like spring and beginning. I mean, yeah. He always gets nervous before first moto. He's just a little bit more nervous right now. Try to get some of the rust off. He's been sitting around for a while, so I told him to go out pretty hard and make the trade line. Get you see that hole right there? Oh, uh, after you, after the start? Yeah. Going up the hill? You guys going up the hill? Yeah. Big. Meanwhile, his teammate Ryan Villapoto started the race in fourth place and moved into second shortly after Stewart's crash. Villapoto looked comfortable in second place and didn't let Townley or Purcell get too close. Besides, they had bigger problems to solve when it came time to keeping Stewart from moving up. The number one Kawasaki steadily moved through the top ten all the way to second place and passed Villapoto. On the RMC 250, a bike he doesn't normally ride. With two three scores, Team USA was in the lead over New Zealand by six points. Hey, did awesome, but I just know you can win that next moto. I wanted to win the next moto. 
I just think it'd be sick if they keep it with free. James is like right in clear. It's a little muddy over here. Yeah, he was over, over this side. He knew the best plan was just to stay consistent and strong. He silenced all doubters by pulling the whole shot and leading most of the race. Fourth once again and moved up when Purcell crashed on a downhill double. The next target was Townley, who, like Tedesco, sat out much of the summer racing season due to injury. Filippoto was able to get by Ben, and then the Team USA luck started to turn. Past the halfway point, Tedesco was still in the lead but slowing up. The rough track was causing him to tighten, and he wisely backed it down. Filippoto made a huge mistake, jumping off the track, but in a miraculous fight was able to save it and only lost two spots. Antonio Caroli, he went by Townley and eventually gunned down the leader Tedesco. The wild Italian was untouchable, and the crowd went ballistic. In the end, Villapoto was able to work back up to second place, and his 3-2 overall scores gave him top individual honors in the MX2 class. That's okay. It was awesome, Joe. On the win. Yeah. You could have yeah, you could have won, but not for that. They were wobbling, then uh, Tony was not giving you, doing you any favor. To the right. Purcell gets the whole That's shot. The That's Villapoto coming down the inside, making the pass for second. When you watch Ryan, he's going to make the pass. What a great move! Ryan Villapoto wins the Supercross Lights West Cup. Josh Grant looking like he's got the advantage here. Yeah, Steve Boniface grabbed the whole shot there, and in that second turn, Josh Grant did a triple, and Boniface checks out. Boy, Villapoto all over Boniface. And you got to know that confidence will come out early like this and just hammer the racetrack on the first or second lap. He's going right to open here. the door for setup. him, uh, and here comes Villapoto right by him. Villapoto takes the win. I've been good on my starts lately, and uh, tonight I think I was a little off. I just had a little bit of problems and had some battle with some of the guys. And then, uh, we, you know, once I got out front, you know, it was clear track. And Championship. Ryan Villapoto, the winner at at and Park. The talk is going to continue because Ryan Villapoto is one and other. A bunch of riders go down, including his teammate, Chris Gosler. But it's photo from wrapping this thing up is to at least finish second to him tonight. Yeah, absolutely. It's a serious. Uh -oh, here we here go. goes a dirty move. Oh, oh, and he yeah, makes cut for the, for the first lap of the main event. So, uh, gets Villapoto right back. Yeah. And Not what afraid to show it to him, too. Came out of the turn and just lost his drive. Oh, oh no! Oh. Oh. Down goes Villapoto! Partridge went, looks like he went off the track from the other lane. And Lawrence looks over his shoulder. Little payback right here. And you've got a new leader. Ryan Villapoto wins another one and gets another step closer. Sir. He has done it. He has won the Amps Mobile over Josh Hill, but Ryan Villapoto is the champ. Uh, it means a lot. You know, everybody on the whole team has worked, uh, you know, worked so hard for to bring this home and uh, hanging on the door at, uh, on Mitch's semi and, and uh, staying with my trainer, Randy Lawrence, mom and dad. And, uh... That looks like Gosler. Chris Gosler. And look at Villapoto inside, three wide as we come on to the main slide through there. Here's a tremendous amount of speed. Over the finish line jump, again over the finish line jump as they look at each other. Here comes Villapoto, and the checkered flags fly for Ryan Villapoto at his home race. And uh, it started all over again that second practice, and uh, 
you know, just went back and forth between me and him. You know, he would just ride slow. Just I couldn't get away from him. And uh, Amy said, you're not allowed to cut the track. And, so, you know, I just had to ride slow around the track. And I ended up fighting. Ryan was just there. And then, uh, I don't know, the AMA wasn't that pumped. I mean, I... I'm just happy that I get to race, pretty much. I mean, I wasn't even going to be able to race. I have 40th gate pick, which is kind of a bummer, but he's just got someone that's as fast as him now, and I'm not really sure that he knows how to handle it. His heart rate it. come down. He's already had a pretty exciting race up to this point where he's he's passed for the lead, fallen down, and oh. having to get back on again. Problems for Dungey. That Brewing as we speak. Well, I think it's pretty much what we expected out of the motocross lights class this year. So much young talent in the lights division and Townley. Then when Ryan made a bit of a bobble, boy, look at the speed Villapoto carries through there using every inch of the racetrack. Battling it out once again, both of our light Supercross champions. Townley on the 101 won the East Coast Championship, Villapoto the West, and they're side by side for the lead here at Hangtown. As Villapoto has got a ton of speed and one win already on the outdoor season. He's won one the and two. Villapoto out front in a good size lead already. Ryan Villapoto definitely has it. Now we'll see if he can put it all together with moto number two as well and take the overall. Something he has not been able to do here so far this season. His way to the checkered flag. He'll take moto number one here at Southwood. As you can see that thing really sat up and came straight off the corner while everybody else went way wide, chewing up more dirt spending more time before trying to get through the inside there he's going to get the pass done i love that synchronicity there over that uh over that uh, sand tabletop and that's actually oh and dungy's right back actually the fast line i guess is what i <laughs> should have said and dungy and townley both first time here at an ama national well, now Ryan Villapoto is going to get into this fight. It's going to be a three-rider battle for the lead. Townley around the outside. Wow. Just giving it everything he's got. You guys, definitely took the energy pill in between motos. Dungey tries to square the corner back up. Tries to get back inside of him. Townley takes the lead. Villapoto continues to close. Oh, and you know that Ryan Villapoto wants a piece of this action, too, but he's back there. He gets a chance to watch which one of the lines was successful on each part of the track here, so he's actually at an advantage. Rides with a tremendous amount of confidence, does young Ryan Dungy. Villapoto comes right up the inside of him, alongside Jeff Emig. And Aaron Bates covering the action down along the racetrack for us today. The Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki teammates of Ben Townley on the 101 and Ryan Villapoto on the number one, battling it out. And Villapoto to the inside to take the lead for the first time here in moto number two. And that has been Villapoto's MO all season is outside. Townley might have had a bit of an issue there. He seemed to slow up pretty good. Well, he, he, he was just getting a little tired because he seems to be just making more mistakes. Oh, it's Villapoto with the mistake here. Not sure what he did. He looked pretty comfortable coming in. You see Townley here. Up over the big jumps and Villapoto takes the lead away now. And Dungey finds himself back to third. And Ben Townley takes a checkered flag here for moto number two. He's putting on a dominating performance. Reminiscent of Matt Malatin on his good days. Ricky Carmichael when he was dominating. Jeremy McGrath, even Kenny Coolbeth at Springfield this year ran away from the rest of the field. Ryan Villapoto is doing exactly that. He's 20 seconds ahead of a former world champion. And he's going to take his first overall win of the 2007 season. The defending motocross lights champion wins at Bud's Creek. Rebounded, but in uh, towards the last place. Mr. Moto 2. That's what Ben Tally is becoming known as. And you can see just how treacherous the track is at this point. There's lines all over the place as Filippoto just makes Morocco's lead. He's got his game face on for this moto number two.
And Vitale's going to need it because Ryan Villapoto with the number one play is using all different kinds of lines, searching for some a, a passing spot here early in the second moto, trying to take that overall win. Riders that are in contention for this title have a lot of work to do in Moto2. Behind the Kawasaki boys. One, I don't do well in the other. Look at Villapoto putting the pressure on his teammate. Townley shuts the door, pitches him off. And we see Villapoto on the first lap trying this outside line. He's not afraid. Is he going to do LaRocco's lead? No, he gets shut down by Townley. The stops and ride the wide line, using that extra momentum, but definitely twisting the throttle on that Kawasaki 250F. Teammates, so what? Townley wasn't about to give him an easy passage by. Well, I think that that was a pretty clean uh, move there. He just basically blocked the line. Now, is this going to be for Ben Townley? Is that that little wake-up call that he, that he might have needed to say, okay, I need to let it all hang out here in the second moto. Hodo on the one, though. Almost gets Townley on the inside. Now has he got the advantage, Jeff? Townley's got the inside. Let's see if he can take advantage of that. Villapoto on the outside. He has been trying to work something lap after lap, and finally it pays off for the championship leader. Philip Moto in front. Now, can Townley respond? This year's Motocross Lights Championship, and Philip Moto almost a mistake, a definite mistake, but he hangs on to it. Uh, that was like he was riding a wild bull at that point, that he held on to it. Manufacturers for the most overall wins. <laughs> what about that for style? But we won't in about three corners time. About wins Moto 1, wins Moto 2. Ryan Villapoto does it at Red Bug. It's a Kawasaki 1-2 yet again. Uh, well, you know, I didn't think the track was going to be this good, you know, in uh, the first two practices this morning because it was uh, it was really one line and pretty muddy, but it really came around that second moto. And I can't thank uh, the team enough, uh, Monster Pro Circuit, Kawasaki, and Jeff Fox and Parts Unlimited, and uh, Toyota of Escondido, you know, just everybody that's helped me out. Thanks. Good. No, it's a left side radiator that got some of the coolant coming out. Could only speculate that that fall on the first lap. You know, I, before I even fell, I looked down and it uh, had a hole in it. And it was, I guess it was uh, like blowing antifreeze all over and I was seeing it smoking. And then, and then I fell and then, uh, you know, then I could pull in and check it out. But, you know, who knows? Points leader out of commission for this moto. We'll see him back for the second moto. Suzuki and the Kawasaki just laboring up the hill as Filippoto takes the win in Moto2. It won't be enough to take the overall with that DNF in one, and Dungey hangs on. Well, I did the same thing, Ryan Dungey. I thought I won with the 2-2 in 91, but it wasn't the case. In the back, and Jason Lawrence, I believe, doesn't wear a back protector, so I think it was real fortunate that he didn't have any injury there. Villapoto and Townley going at it. And running see, around and over each other. Yeah, and Villapoto was just going for it at that point. All Both of them trying to chase Grant down at this point. Villapoto on the inside. Remember, he's got the red number one plate for the national championship in this class last year. Townley with a harder clay surface, but uh, the track promoter Thunder Valley really did a great job at the track this year. And there's a mistake that cost Townley second place. Number one, and Townley would battle all the way back to second. At one point or another, you have to win races and you have to win championships uh, to keep that going. He is definitely a determined young man as we watch Villapoto now chase him. They are tied dead even in the point standings. Villapoto trying to hold on to the championship he won last year. He's a little bit shorter than Ben Townley, and he seems to ride with all this aggression. And when you watch him, it seems like he is letting it all hang out. He finds his speed from finding more comfort, okay? So the more that he stands on the bike, oh, down goes Villapoto, and right in front of Townley. And that could be another one of those situations where Ryan Villapoto was just letting it hang out. I tell you, that is a great feeling right now, coming past the finish line, both arms in the air, victorious. We're getting pelted. The dirt here at Washugo, pretty hard, pretty hard base. Villapoto around the outside, taking the lead away from Dungey. And you can see coming along in third. That's where the local knowledge really plays into it. And Villapoto just was on fire once again in the first moto. Just the Townley, he wasn't going to catch him. Obviously feeding off 
the frenzied fans. He takes the win in moto number Moto-like one. Just the mechanic and the signals that you get. Oh, as wow. Villapoto just picks off his team. Forward. Villapoto working his way towards the top 10. He's ninth now, trying to get eighth away from Canary and does so. Position taking 25 valuable championship points. And of course is Ben Townley. All of these guys, all of these riders in the, in the lights class, in such great physical condition that the 30 minutes plus two laps, doing it twice a day is no problem for him. And there is third place for Villapoto. So fast all day, and I'm telling you, he is in the moment right now. Oh, down goes Villapoto! Oh, man! Just as I start to talk about how focused Ryan Villapoto is, he has a huge get off, and look at that, he's gonna get back on the bike. So fortunate that he didn't suffer an injury there. If he did, he's putting it out of his mind, and he's gonna finish this race off. And look what happens. And right here, he loses traction, and then there's a small kicker Unbelievable. And I tell you, if you're Ryan Dungey, you got to be pretty nervous right now, but he has been so strong all year. He's just got Villapoto breathing down. Slower riders in front of him, too. Boy, they've caught Townley's going to take the win, and at the checkers, it's just Ryan Dungey. Yeah, it was uh, it was awesome. You know, the first motor went well, and uh, just came back to the to the second motor to do the same, but uh, fell in the first turn, and then uh, you know got up, and I could see uh, you know catching him fast, and uh, I figured I had him, and I just pushed it in a spot where I you know should have eased down a little bit, and uh, and crashed, and uh, again, so I just had to come back from that. Number one. Of Villapoto, actually, it's Townley. I saw Metcalf get a good start, though. He's not too far back, but Townley is going to be the early late race leader getting the whole shot. All right, Ralph. Now, who wants this championship at this point? You see both these guys. They know, oh, Villapoto's got the line on the outside. Oh, but boy, he almost carried that rear wheel a little too far. They're ticking down. S just over 16 minutes plus two laps left to go here in Moto 1 for the motocross lights. That's right, and the Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki riders once again, wheel to wheel. These guys are battling for the championship. It's even though uh, Ryan Villapoto has nine moto wins. These riders are starting to get into traffic here. and uh, Like I said, the track's in great shape, but some of the outer edges of the track are gonna be you know, pretty soft, pretty wet. Mistake, lose the positions, lose the points, lose the points lead. And look at this, Townley now applying the pressure as the crowd gets into it. And at this point, it's much easier to be the rider in second right now. You're the aggressor. You're sitting there watching everything happen. You just seen him make a mistake. Time to strike right now. Townley looking inside. He's got him. Villapoto just pulled up, Ralph. He pulled up going up the hill. I don't know what the deal was there. He pulled out of the way and let Ben Townley by. Townley has any special part of the track that he's working on. Well, he's got to feel pretty confident to be able to do that because you sure don't want to give up the position. And the checkered flag waves for Ben Townley. Out in front now. Ryan Villapoto is going to have to get through some pretty tough customers on a cross lights event in Millville, Minnesota. He has caught the race leader, Ben Townley. There he is in second on the number one. Townley, and the pace of what he is racing has just been incredible. Here he goes on the outside. He's got the drive on the outside, Ralph. Let's see if he can make it stick. Remember, he it. let him go by him in moto number one to watch his lines. Maybe he did learn something. He's right around alongside, not giving either one of any inch, but not taking each other out. What a spectacular piece of racing between two teammates with great respect for each other. I cannot believe first moto, Villapoto let him by. Ben Townley caught Villapoto, was all over him. Villapoto pulled out of the way. Strange move, never seen that before. Now the second moto, Villapoto is definitely dialed in. And look, Ben Townley just made a mistake. He's part. Nobody expected this when the gate dropped. As we watched him roll through the pack, we just seen how focused and determined Ryan Villapoto is. Now let's see if Ben Townley can raise that energy level and raise that intensity here. Millville. And remember, 
Ben Talley has been Mr. Second Moto, okay? He has been the strongest at the end of these races. Be his 10th Moto win, his third overall victory in the 2007 season, and he has done it here at Millville. But it worked, and the championship chase gets even tighter. What you just pulled out. Yeah, you know, just uh, didn't have it there the first moto and uh, let Ben by to see what he was doing. And uh, I don't know if it helped me that first moto, but I think it might have might have gave me a little bit of edge for, uh, you know, for the second moto and uh, made a little bit of change to the bike. And uh, it, it was it was awesome. You know, I just can't thank enough to the team, uh, Monster Pro Circuit, Kawasaki and uh, Jeff Fox and Parts and Lemon. Another guy who had some tough luck yesterday during practice, but the second practice of the day was the number one of Ryan Villapoto. That's right, he's contending for this championship right now. On the ground, we found him. He ended up get, brushing it off, getting himself up quite quickly once again, remounting the bike, but ended up having to see the chiropractor first thing this morning to do some extensive therapy on it. In this class, he came into the day trailing his teammate by two points. However, after photo number one, he is now retaking the points lead. Pretty good weekend as well. Oh, boy, Villapoto, this one isn't over yet. All the way to the checkered flag, he keeps it interesting. If you take a look at the points, remember he was two points in front, so it was an eight point swing. He's flawless, you know, he just seems so strong on the bike. And uh, that's much what you have to do at this time of the season. Unfortunately for Ben Townley, however, the wheel started to come off the wagon. Looking forward to it. Ryan Villafoto celebrating a win here in Texas as he makes his way through the big sand whoop section for the final time oh, here today. Checkered flag here in Ryan Villapoto getting out to an early lead, but coming along with him was Ben Townley. Turns a big sweeper straight up the hills. Glenn Helen this year, they added a lot of hills into this track. It was tough. Townley was certainly not going to just let Villapoto walk away with this one. No, not at all. He has put up a great fight all season. Both of these riders really battled hard for that championship. Championship home. And here in moto number one, mistakes again would cost Ben Townley. Watch Townley here, has the line, makes a small mistake, loses his balance. Both the pro circuit riders, this is the steepest, gnarliest, roughest hill on the track. Just absolute drag race to the top. And the champion comes out on top to win the championship. So moto number one goes to Ryan Villapoto, that much closer to holding on to that number one plate for the two. Final moto ready to get underway. Championship on the line. <laughs> Villapoto, there you see him with the red number one on the outside. He's back and forth. Finish this series up right. I'm going to try to take this win and then let everything else sort itself out. And if it's to be, then it's to be. Villapoto now moves up to third as he gets around his teammate. He'll land that jump nice and smooth. Villapoto really closing in. Kennard with a bobble. And Villapoto finds himself in second. We have a lot to celebrate. Checkered flag for the Moto win to Ben Townley on a fine effort here in Moto number two. But the championship and second place is going to go to this man. Ryan Villapoto will be the 2007 AMA Toyota Motocross Lights Champion. The first man to congratulate him, the man who battled him all year long, Ben Townley. Well, there's your moto winner and your reigning champ. You know, I gave it my all. I uh, can't say I didn't do that. I just made a few mistakes at the end of the season. It cost me bad. I said I wanted to take this championship fight all the way to Glen Helen, and, uh, and I did. It's just a uh, huge improvement on last year. Really happy about that, but it's, uh, it's always hard to lose a championship when you come so close. Well, Ryan, you've worked really hard this year. You've really done a good job. You had a little sec setback in Unadella. You came back through, and there you go. Probably the best prize that anyone's ever given you this year because I gave you one last year. There you go, bud. Ryan, defending champion coming in this year, you knew you had your work cut out for you. How much tougher was it to defend this title than it was last year to win it? You know, I definitely think it was tougher. Everybody said it was, and, uh, you know, I think it really is. And, uh, you know, with the, the points that I had to lead and then I had the DNF at uh, a Unadilla that set me back a little bit and just had to come back through that, and I couldn't have done it without 
uh, you know, my whole team, Monster Pro Circuit, Kawasaki. Yeah, you know, from the beginning, I knew that we were going to be racing until the end. And, uh, you know, Ben's a strong rider and racer. And, uh, you know, we definitely put on some good races this year. And uh, it, made it, it made it great for, uh, for everybody to watch. And, uh, you know, he's, I think he's going to be riding 450 next year for, on outdoors. And then, you know, I'll, I'll see him there in 09. Ladies, I have to say, great time to proud, but this is race one of this 2007. I think it's Villapoto the lead. Yes, it is. Well, how about that? Where's Carmichael? Villapoto out front. It was Ryan Villapoto, number two out front. Well, it's the MX2 rider from America. Problem, I think, with that bike. But that's one guy that doesn't have a problem. After uh, untangling himself with the rider, Villapoto out front then. Searle there in second now. Tommy's going well again. Philip Partson riding for Australia. Porcel, Ramon Barrigan. Carmichael's on the gas. Mackenzie and Caroli. Great all-time American rider. Jacket flag for Villapoto. You know, I just, uh, that's hard to do against all the 450s. And, uh, so, you know, we, we switched up gates and I got the inside. I was kind of wondering where Ricky was the whole time. And, uh, you know, I guess he got third, which is good for us. And we're just going to come out in this, uh, this second moto and uh, try to get up there again. The names, unfortunately, neither the phone numbers. But here we go, gate drops. Are they all safely going to make that first corner? It's another steaming start. And he's out there with the big 450s. And, uh, oh, and there, Tim Ferry is in trouble. Race leader. Ryan Villapoto, it's two. Well, he can't do any more than what he's doing, really. And uh, Tim Ferry really now has got to pick, take this uh, Chamberlain, Nathan Strobe back home. Well, don't back home. They're already here, aren't they? We're aliens. They're here. Sweden. They're from everywhere. They're here. They're, they've come from Mexico, Guatemala. They've come from everywhere. know that she'd made a star. Look at that. And he's enjoying this. This is his last race of the campaign this weekend. Said he's out now, the nations, and so is Hurley. Cody Cooper, the only surviving rider. Yeah, you know, just got two good starts today, and, uh, you know, Crowley beat me last year, and I was wanting to come back and see what I had for him, and, you know, it's an awesome deal, and I uh, can't thank my mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, and, you know, all these fans out here. Thanks, guys. Tim Ferry, Ricky Carmichael, Ryan Villapoto, Roger DeCosta, the team manager, 2000. Solito. The name once again goes onto the side. It's the USA, America, 2007. Glad these guys could experience. I know, uh, this is Timmy's first time, so uh, very happy for him. What a way for me to end my career, and uh, it's no more for me. So uh, very happy with the team. We're the best in the world. I don't care what anybody says, we are number one. Oh, he's got to come charging up through the pack, and he's battling with Jessamine. Up the inside. Time racing out, Craig Nard. Oh! And he makes contact with Bowers and gets another rider and off the track goes Villapoto. And the photo is up and back down. Stalls the bike. Here comes Grant oh, right up in between. Man. Grab his right hand. Straight away. But here he goes. The Warriors getting... It is going to go to Kennard and that's Jessamine on this absolutely no points in Atlanta. A DNF. He's different lines through there. And it looks like Villapoto's going to come out with time, and he's right up alongside. Inside and down goes Villapoto! And Kennard just can't get away. Meanwhile, Jessamine does. Flying the side pass is pretty quick. He's got to get super cross lights, East Coast race. He's two for two. Man, I just wanted to be smart tonight and give it 200%, and that's what I did. Because Villapoto has been on the podium quite a lot since he's turned professional. in second. Where's Kennard? Really sticking that front wheel in there. And see Villapoto gets. This could be it. Villapoto's got a good line here. Long side. Tries to come back inside, and this time he makes it stick. He absolutely nailed that turn. Oh, and look at Josh Grant. Have to find a better line than the fast line. Oh, Villapoto to close in a little bit. Villapoto goes one. You gotta go where the other guy's not in the pan is not in. Oh, look at that. And Grant ran in way walk here to the inside. He tries him on the inside and Grant suspects it and cuts it to the slowest section on the racetrack. Villapoto's here they come. Oh! Down goes Grant and Villapoto wins. Well, you know, it's finally. I started the season uh, not very good with the DNF. It takes, uh, you know, lifts my shoulders up a little bit and uh, makes it easier to get through the week. 
This is Josh Grant out front, Kennard's teammate. He sets third in point. Up as a racetrack look a little better tonight in the main. The track works. Problems for Grant's bike. Looks like he stalled it or got it knocked out of gear. Giving up the lead here on the third of 15 laps. Comes another win in 2008 for Ryan Villapoto. For the East Coast Championship. Ryan Villapoto wins in Detroit. It's down to the final race. Three points separating the two. Service is this rookie right now. He has the opportunity to win. Both riders have helpers on the track in position. And look at Villa for Villapoto. And Grant comes back inside. Oh, that's an aggressive move. You fight anything, especially Villapoto. And that's going to be huge at this speed. Here's a look at the point for the lead. And Kennard goes to the lead. Over rider doing everything he needs to win the title. And Villapoto comes up for second. Whoever wins this one. Oh, Kennard makes a bubble. Here comes Villapoto. Side to the next corner. Contact. And Villapoto comes out with drawing. Runs to the outside. They stay side by side. And now it's just second place. Here he comes. Oh, there's contact. On goes Villapoto. Demolishes Ryan Villapoto and pushes him off the track. He's actually going backward. Mark pays off. He pulls off the biggest upset of 2008. I can't thank the Lord Jesus Christ enough because that's the reason I'm here. And, and uh, I feel kind of bad about hitting Ryan, but I would expect the same, him to do the same thing to me. You know, we all want it really bad. And uh, I respect Ryan a lot, and I, I hope he still respects me. But. Gets on the gas a little too soon, and you can see that.
Jet Stripe right up to his Supercross racing, coming to the tracks with him each and every week. Even when Ryan on those tracks, they can reach up and find you. But wow, is he appreciating the crowd here in this first Supercross win in the home state race. Ryan Villapoto's a Supercross winner. But Ryan Villapoto is a huge winner here in Seattle. You know, it's, it's definitely up there. Um, couldn't have done it without my team. And uh, I'd just like to dedicate this to my mechanic, John. His father passed away. And uh, thank you, John, for all your hard work. No traction out there. It's really loose. And they've got Ryan Villapoto in between the two of them. And we love him. Second, a horrible start for Reed. Anything can happen, guys. He's through the woods. And then James Lefty, the top of the problem. Still in top. Yeah, it is. And these guys are going for it, too, like they're racing for the championship. Position back. Meanwhile, Villapoto comes hunting after Stewart. Look at this. Villapoto, there's a championship on the line, but there's also a win instead. Stewart to the inside. That pressure is going to keep James Stewart focused on a race and not focused on happening. It's going to be that oh, much harder. Oh, oh, oh. He's never been in a position in a position like this where we really didn't have to win. We always see him just go for it. I might change my program. I might, might next his deal a lot, you know? And he's certainly uh, known. So here he is, Ryan Villapoto, going for win number two. He's way to the checkered flag in his second career win as he lights the candles here in Las Vegas. Short still hanging on. Oh, nice move by Villapoto. Scrubbed over the top of that jump. Stay to the inside. Welcome back. Battle at our hands here at Glen Helen. Ryan Villapoto all over Chad Reed. They both jump. Who's got the guts to hang on the inside? Villapoto's going to try to put Reed up against the wall. 75 miles an hour. That's the fastest section of the track, but no one has been able to make this inside work. Reed discarded Josh Grant. Got past those guys. Put his head down and is now going after his... Well, easy there for a while. It's so hard to get yourself back out of that and go fast again. And he got this momentum. The crowd wouldn't be in it. It'd be a whole different thing. Bad timing for Alessi. You see lap board. So now they're two and a half laps away. And Villapoto now clearing that big triple cleanly. Over 70 miles an hour through here. And there's that new outside line that Villapoto has discovered. Well, yeah, see that, that was not a scrub. No, that was a mistake. Yeah, Mike is obviously aware of what's going on. He did okay. Good. He's worried. I got him. Oh, he's got to right Still got to make that pass. He's got to try to go to the inside, scrubbing it over that jump. Hold Villapoto off. Side by side. Villapoto jumps and takes the lead. He's on form today. When he's riding his best, like he did a couple years ago, and then it was great early. Kind of got a little uh, kind of weak for a bit. Straight titles in the 250 class, and he goes 1-1, sweeping both motos in his debut in the 450 class. He was testing on Thursday. He did not crash, but somehow he twisted his left knee. It is so extremely sore. He's barely able to ride, but he's he's not able to manage to apply any kind of pressure onto that knee. Tough break for Ryan Villapoto. Definitely not what he wanted to happen, but the team said they'll update us more when they know more themselves.
boxing in the world, the AMA Super Cup. It might be to an advantage to be second in line. finally shake the cobwebs off and uh, get a great start like that. You know, lead a bunch of laps in the race and and, and come back with that win. Goes bar to bar with his Honda stablemate. And here's Villapoto now out of nowhere. Makes a mistake through that rhythm section and missed the triple. Showing after that horrendous crash and injury last year, coming back. Dungy, Villapoto. Range. Remember, he did that in the heat also. Watch Villapoto around this. Triple. And the Ron Stewart. Can you believe this? Could be the best race of the year. This is the one every part of our. Filippotto's got second. Whichever one comes out with the win will have a big boost in confidence. Trainer this year, Alden Baker, who spent years with Ricky Carmichael, who spent Poto, and midway through the race, who is it? Filippotto! Did he get him? Oh, Stewart has a fight on his hands. Could the fans of Dodge? Stewart is down. Villapoto's in the lead. Kennard and Dungey are by. Let's figure out what happened to James Stewart. Monster Energy AMA Supercross on FIM. Villapoto, the first two-time winner of 2011. Table. He gave it his all tonight. Fought back for second. Villapoto coming to the checkered flag. He's going to win his third through the month of Moto Mayhem. And Bonnie in there. and the two of Ryan Villapoto, uh -oh. and Villapoto's walking away. Ryan Villapoto. LCQ underway. Villapoto gets shoved off. He gets together with Brayton. They might not make the main. Checkered flag, and the points leader is not going to the main event. The Cowboys hole shot. Stewart looking to jump out front. Oh, Reed makes a mistake. Villapoto oh, goes that by. that opens the door, and there he goes. Villapoto to the checkered flag. He lights the candles and extends his points lead. Oh, oh Stewart! Oh, he's oh, down! He's and oh, oh, And that's going to put Villapoto in the lead. And here goes Reed in the second. Putting on a show. Here he comes, right after Villapoto. Oh. These guys. Ryan Villapoto is riding very defensive. Oh, Reed the back there goes for... right to the inside and jumps his way into the lead. So Chad Reed takes the win here tonight in Las Vegas. He won his first ever Monster Energy AMA Supercross and up by a World Championship. Um, you know, I put in so much work this year, the whole team, uh, you know, the work was done. I, and and I think that to back it up, the Lord Jesus Christ helped me through this because, uh, you know, all the training was done, preparation was all done. Down, so. did not mess around. He immediately snagged the number one spot from Dungey and took off, Jeff. Round of the year, the guy who did win, this rider, Ryan Villapoto, rebounding with a huge first moto win today. So Reed, he won. He's got to get them now in order to just gain some ground on these guys. In moto one, he can turn as fast a laps as our uh, winners did. And, and that was the thing, you know, he had a big... So there's plenty of fans that wish they had it on, because it's hot out there right now. I'll tell you what feels good right now, having the lead and pulling away. Ryan Villapoto at Red Bud Trail. 
in Buchanan, Michigan. Ryan Villapoto right now the Monster Energy Kawasaki is back to win the second moto here at Red Bar. And one moto is complete today. Villapoto won. Here is race number two. All these riders, Jeff, they know you've got to get up front early. So these first laps, it is a battle right now. Look at that line. You're not supposed to be able to pass there, but Villapoto's going to try it to make things happen. Meanwhile, Villapoto has made it happen. He has gone past Alessi to be up front like this. Oh, at this point, really, because he can, he's can, he got a clear track. Dilla. Undefeated on the new bike, Ryan Villapoto wins Unadilla. Marshes out the messy stuff. It's a drag race now. Another one of these big Steel City jumps, and Villapoto uphill jumps, and we'll hook back on at the start straight. Yeah, and uh, look at Villapoto. He, he knocks the triple in there. If Ryan Villapoto can execute that triple triple, possibly use it. Oh, he's as next to him right now, Jeff. He goes to the inside. In California, Villapoto on the two, Dungey on the number one. He's not going to allow Villapoto to have any chance at passing him there. Two lap board is out. Just absolutely tap everywhere around this track. Right hand corner, Dungey humidity, and these riders are just putting in perfect rides. I'm about five feet beyond oh, the landing. That's another mistake. mistake. Here comes Villapoto around the outside. Riders in front of him. Couple lap riders. Where are they going to go? That's Les Smith and Michael Byrne. He was on the left earlier. He's going to go for it and take the lead and the win in the last corner. It's the lead in the last turn of a 30 minute and two lap battle. Down to this. Like he will remount. So this is a scenario for Dungeon Villapoto. The same type of things that have unfolded there in one lap of a motocross race. Oh, and Villapoto almost runs it in on Dungey. Well, Dungey to make moves. They're actually battling the number 30 of Kyle Regal in that race. They have to deal with him again. Well, watch right here. Villapoto just gets over that uh, that right-handed roller. Now he's going to win here at Pala. But we'll probably come up a few points short back to win the Supercross title. And now the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship. It's time to celebrate here at Pala. Ryan Villapoto has done it. Championship number one plate. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, I mean, it's it's huge. You know, we started off this outdoor season way behind. The most up and down um, outdoors I've ever had or season. It's been a hell of a year. Um, I, like I said, everybody that's helped me, every single person, I just can't thank them enough. It's time to go to uh, Motocross the Nations and let's bring it home. Swanepoel. So Villapoto on the move here. Siegel, the German teammate to Ken Roxon. Roxon now coming under pressure, so quite literally. But he's now found a way to close back in on what? And Villapoto goes through. Oh, he goes straight on and they touch. Time for celebrations. Because look, here's second place on the Orange KTM, Jeffrey Hernings. Win two for second, three for third, four for fourth place, all the way down to 14th. Here on home soil, and he raises the roof. Villapoto cannot quite find. Four team Russia, the Americans are in there. Both Americans are in there. The big players are out here. Wow, look at this. Bobby Chef and Villapoto got a chance of winning, and Villapoto goes up the inside. Bobby Chef leans on him. So holds a nice tight line. Bobashev jumps down the inside, but he's not going to get done there. And on the Karasaki, he's in fourth place. Oh, but the photo's down. And Ryan Dunji runs into the back of him. Oh, he just gets caught in the rut and goes down. Oh, mistake there from Bobashev as he comes out of that long left chef, who's having a weekend of his life here. Moto number one, and a stone hit the goggles. But Filippoto, top this time. A little bit easier, despite making that mistake a couple of laps ago. Takes a long look over his shoulder, raises a hand, and Dunchy. They celebrate for Team USA. That's victory number 22. Proud. And what a celebration that is. There's always a massive podium here at the Motocross of Nations. There we see the Australian. and Ryan Dungey will see you next year. with the whole shot. Ben Townley right there with the 101. Michael Lessie on the 800. A double jump right there and look at Villapoto 
He has been so good this season. You can tell he is so hot laps right here, Ricky. Yeah, he I'm is. Not sure anybody can catch him. And you know what the biggest thing is, and he, he probably has his mind. This is checkered. He is a third of the way to the Monster Million. Got to keep his head together, which you know Villapoto has always been such a great rider under pressure. He just has a way to just zone out, or, you, you know, and focus on what he needs to take all of the distractions too many things upset him never has you know he just goes out there does his deal and rolls with it yeah. to the monster million ryan villapoto no don't don't give the million away no. quite yet we still have one more main event to go oh big pile up behind him it's alessi in the front here comes dungy be a good opportunity and for Dungy. I think I think Villapoto's gonna make quick work of him right here. Comes, trying to get to the outside, cuts it back inside. Plenty of room. And still triples out right there. What a move by Ryan Villapoto. Down the hill they go. Man, when you're dialed in, you are dialed in. He is so focused right now. It's history that this has ever Whoa. happened. That could have been throwing away a million bucks. Others was at stake. And Ryan Villapoto has done it. He's won all three cup inaugural winner, and he's a millionaire. Look That's that. how it came out. Monster Energy Supercross. Chad Reed for second. I can tell you who this isn't good for, and that's the man on the number seven Yamaha. Yep, that's Mike Alessi on the 800, who had a great start in his heat race. That's lap times running a one minute point four second lap. That's almost a second faster. That one minute point four second lap that no. he posted early on. There it, hey it, guys, you look at the leaderboard to the premier class, okay? And the adversity that he faced and overcame last year. Done it! He wins back to back season openers in Anaheim. Villapoto! Villapoto gets it! Dex Reed right here they come! Chad Reed out front! Villapoto! The repeat winner, the first repeat winner, has gone on many times to win the title. Ryan Villapoto this year, because he's the first repeat winner in 2012. And he is flying here tonight. Now it was Jay. Oh, there's the pass for the lead. Here comes Reed. He is definitely catching him in the crowd, getting on their feet here in San Diego. Final couple of laps. Yo! Villapoto stumbles off the corner. Got the lead by a nose. Villapoto takes it deep. Oh, now comes Reed on the gas. But Reed gets through clean. Look at the crowd cheering these two on. Passing spots are he's trying to get here. It is. No contact and he's through. He's got win number three in 2012. But what an effort from Reed as well. It's the nuclear Cowboys hole shot. Oh, look at Reed wow. on the inside. He's right there with Bill Opponent. Dude to the inside. Reed is right there. Up goes the urgency level in the battle for the front. Oh, oh the Reed goes right over the bars. Oh, here goes Villapoto. He's coming to the checkered flag. Three weeks in a row. Number five, Ryan Villapoto, five-time winner in 2012. Villapoto trying to get around Alessi. Can he get it too? Yes, he's to third. I tell you, if uh, Brayton jumped through the whoops like Brett Metcalf, it'd be much easier. Well, here we go. Him. There it is, right there. Ryan Villapoto's done it again in 2012, taking the win in Indianapolis. Ryan Villapoto lights the candles here in Toronto. Another win. How about Davey Millsaps on the 18? Villapoto wants that title. When it comes to riding dirt bikes, no matter what the discipline has been for the last year and a half, nobody. 12 Monster Energy AMA Supercross FIM World Championship. It's unreal. It's uh, you know to make it two in a row. It's it's pretty amazing. You know that's all I can say is thank you to my team. They are about to win number nine in 2012. The champ takes another one. Oh, down goes Villapoto. Ryan Villapoto is down on the ground. No. Can you believe it?
Villapoto alongside of Snow. Oh, and he goes down again! Oh, yeah. And Villapoto was limping at the end. And Danny Millsap is about to do it! He leaves the high! Oh, they take the cam now, but it's Villapoto getting the whole shot. Oh, hang on! Now there's Ryan Villapoto. The race leader. A couple more obstacles in Ryan Villapoto. Ryan, the second winner. To Villapoto rides the candles in Oakland! Who's going to get the whole shot? Trying to come from the lead, and Dungy sits in fourth. Oh, we got a battle on our hands. Uh, fifth, Villapoto, the only other rider out. Gavin is good and keeping uh, the 2 2 of two wheels. Here he comes. Check your flag, and Ryan Villapoto lights the candles again for the third time in 2013. It's Villapoto up the inside of Barsha makes wow. a stick. Easy guy to pass. He has not been Bam Bam yet this year. Almost did the same thing Barsha did off the start. In the he exact did. same spot. Rocks it here. Watch Villapoto scrub that middle double. Over jumps it a little bit. There you go. Bam. Yeah, he, he goes 3-1. Makes the pass on Rocks and also. So Barsha. He is a Daytona Supercross winner. And he's a new points leader. Here comes Stewart. New leader. He's got that. He goes after him again in the sand. He has got to get across it. Stewart has issues. How much he's getting the training, how much his practice regs been has been switched up because of the rear victory. Ryan Villapoto is the early lead. Villapoto's right there, and so is Millsaps. Oh, Millsaps takes Reed way wide. Reed tries to hold to the inside. He is the guy to beat right now. Number one plate, congratulations. Gonna be on the inside of this next corner, and they've got Dungey to deal with as well. They've, they've had some some bar banging at times here, but the intensity is on. They still packed with these fans. They've been very vibrant. Battle, and there goes Villapoto, and here comes Dungey right back. Really starting to apply the pressure. And Stewart's gonna feel that along with Dungey. Battle. Yeah, they're they're separated by 1.2 seconds, and Canard's about another two and a half behind. Even keep track of how many pass attempts. Oh, Dungey's off the track. And that's going to allow Villapoto to take second. Might actually work later in the race, though. Will that line potentially open up? Oh, Villapoto has suddenly taken over the lead. That's what you be done with that phone call. I kind of need your help, though, here in the I booth. I save money. 
Love it. Big step toward a championship this year. Ryan Villapoto wins both motos here at Hangtown. They get up to the first turn in a good in a good place, but comes out third here early in this first there on the Suzuki. Oh, look at Villapoto down to the inside. Still second away from Dungey. The pace, you nope. have to go now. Oh! Villapoto makes a mistake. It's Champ going after a rookie. Only is a third moto in this class. Justin Barsha, the 51, has led it all the way around. Go for it. Dungey found himself in a similar situation one week ago and went off the track, lost a position. Because he can worry about going after the lead. Villapoto wants it right now. Here he goes on the outside. Wow. And literally blast around the outside of Dungey going into the turn. Yeah, I'm like, is he really that confident? That I would think so. Do. There goes Dungey out of the inside. Green bike has taken second from Justin Barsha, and now he wants Ryan Dungey for the lead. Boy, Villapoto has really started to get aggressive with his riding. 204 last lap around. He's Dungey on the inside, Jeff. Here he goes. And Villapoto has the lead. You can see Dungey and Barsha are pushing right now. They know it is a pivotal moment in this race. They've got to try to keep the number two in sight. Over this quad, Villapoto stays lower. And look at this. Wide open into the turn, around the outside. Once again, Ryan Villapoto takes the checkered flag. Got to be happy with just running with these guys for a few laps. Makes a mistake, goes wide. Villapoto takes advantage. Dungey, Villapoto to the inside, and puts the wheels in front of Dungey. The same line he used to get Grant. Paying on one of those deep runs, and still Doesn't goes matter. to the inside. Gonna take the lead anyway. Battle back. Stewart came really hard down the off camber. Holds on to the lead. Don't count out Dungey in third. He's still close. Villapoto makes another mistake like that. He could try to pounce. Well, like Villapoto's riding it with a little more intent. Dungey being a little more cautious. And he's into the lead. And what happened to Stewart? What happened to Stewart? So just like that, Villapoto's in the lead. Well, and, and But look at Dungey. Now he's certainly up the intensity like that that would lock the front wheel up. Yeah. And uh, we have Aaron with an update. Gee, nine seconds back, really had no answer for Villapoto in this moto. Not so strong in Moto2, he's seventh. Checkered flag is out. Ryan Villapoto goes 1-1 at high point. It's up to fourth. Where did he come from? Villapoto now, now third. up to third, has made his way past Dungey. Far out ahead and get too comfortable. And there you see the gap. Stewart on the yellow number seven. Grant on the blue number 33. The Moto, he needs to make this pass. I think he pulled it off. They're going to go wheel to wheel. And they've got Brayton to deal with. Morocco's lead. Together, Brayton and Villapoto, the 10 and the 2, and Villapoto makes the move. Now he gets to the inside of Brayton. It's a drag race. He blocks the inside. Dungey getting really aggressive. Grant trying to get the number 2 spot. They're going to whip it together over that table. Practices, I mean, coming from behind like he did the first moto, making expl very, just very explosive. Now, lead. there's Loraco's leap again, 120-foot triple jump. Biggest jump in this series, Villapoto. Pressure on him. Uh, look at this, you see. Villapoto coming together. Yeah, yeah. Villapoto starting to uh, get a great view of them. They're headed to the sand whoop section. This is one of the roughest parts of the track. Yeah, one thing's for sure is Villapoto never follows anybody if you get around. See and those see different lines there. there, carrying a little bit uh, tighter line. Still able to get the drive. Kind of just let it, you know, leave it natural. Which is more of a play, a yeah, little see. bit of rock in there. You see those light specks in there. Kicking's on him, so it's a one-on-one -on -one fight for the lead. Here at Redbud, into the sand. Oh, here it goes. Villapoto really made a charge on, on, the, on the right-hander. Oh, oh man, Stewart, I'm, I'm cover sorry. the line. James Stewart leading the way right now in the Yoshimura Suzuki, but he's under some fire from your series. Because he knows that the reigning champion, Ryan Dungey, is right behind him. And a mistake from Stewart opens the door for Villapoto. Down on the inside. Dungey could not reel Villapoto in quite quick enough. I suspect Villapoto's going to drop the hammer. A shot of uh, energy right here. Look at, look at Dungey. He's going to try to the inside. inside. And he clears the big leap. Look at Dungey. Dungey gets Stewart and has shown a wheel to Villapoto now. Scrubs at the finish line. Dungey gets through that section so fair. Yeah, Villapoto take a little chance there on that double to get past the lap rider really quickly. Oh. Damn, those are lap riders. Dungey is down and stuck under his bike. Into the checkered flag. Ryan Villapoto is your champion today here at Redbud. Up and down Horsepower Hill. Well, here we go. Two of the best riders, arguably the best riders in the world. One and two. Now remember with the two-moto format here, 
if Villapoto goes 2-1 and Dungey goes 1-2, then... Yes. And uh, that, he's going to take a big impact there, and you can tell by uh, the, his body language there that it was just of this one. And it seems like every time Villapoto figures out a few new lines and is able to put a little pressure on, Dungey's able to respond in uh, races, which we're going to see the 250s here later on on NBC Sports Network. But when you... The home race. Watch this. Watch this. Not struggling now. To the inside. Villapoto has the lead for the first time today. No mistake, but doesn't lose lose the lead. Dungey has got to answer. He has to get tough. He has to get motivated and get aggressive here. And comfortable out front. Villapoto just a little more aggressive. And they race up Horsepower Hill. Fans waving the towels. They're fans in the Pacific Northwest. Dungey, well, he's going to be happy to go home because he has been dominant at his home track. It has finally won here at Washougal. Championship alive going into the final round. Oh, and Villapoto gets to the inside of Sipes. I didn't even know there was a room. There was. When the pressure is on, Ryan seems to become more relaxed. Yes. Five weeks after the finale, he cannot delay the ankle surgery five whole weeks, or then it would cut into his preparation for 2014. So it's big in the history books. Ryan Villapoto is your race winner, and with it, the 2013 Lucas Oil Pro Moto Cross Champion. It's in his own zip code. Look at that, not even dirty. Best way to do it. In MetLife Stadium, Ryan Villapoto is a four-time... It's definitely a big accomplishment. I'm just glad it's over. Um, you know, it's been a long season. It's been a hard season, you know, so it's... Uh, I'm just glad that, uh, you know, we were able to finish it off this way. That pair of Kawasaki's up front. Villapoto trying to get... Yeah, gets to the inside of his teammate. Pretty soon. 
And just look at the speed difference, right? As we worked our way back. He's the champ. He's got the number one play four times in a row. This is obviously what Toto will win Las Vegas. He and the number two of Verdi, Brian Villapoto. But he has to get uh, on the brakes. He so takes the lead. There is uh, Villapoto and Rattray, his teammate then, the two cap. This time he's in front. So Villapoto takes an early lead then in MXGP race boss seven. Uh, Philip Hart's eight. Simpson, sorry, okay, we'll see exactly how big that gap is. He was electrifyingly fast through the wave section, tripling through there, doubling the last. He's over the, the line now, and here he is. Oh, not quite getting over there as clean as he was. To sell wide, and Villapoto, who was already committed to the outside, leaped from the pair of them, and by this corner here, turn three, finds hitting everything perfect. Neatly over the... The combo, this is where he was fast yesterday, there he ups and overs then in, in relaxed fashion and he will take his first ever MX Grand Prix race win. Back and into sight and uh, you see how the riders are crisscrossing. It is the most open track we've had this year so far. Closing in, I know we said it's only 4.7 but uh, it's right where he's challenging in this second one. So maybe they've made changes, yes. So it's definitely not Grand Prix as well. That's two out of three now for the German. Game on in the championship. So, nine laps complete, Nagel 12 and a half seconds clear of Kai Rowley and Villapoto and De Sao. So, uh, almost doing a, uh, a Kai Rowley, just sort of like regrouping and having a, okay, another bite of the cherry. Stake somewhere, Todd Waters back Ooh, up to seven. Oh, hard down the, Villapoto responds oh. and takes him off the bank. Gonna yeah, up. he's going to go gonna straight, he's not right thinking across. about turning right, is he? Great display of reaction here from De Sao. He will know something's going on behind him. De Sao looking to go through here as well at the bottom. Into this left hander. Enough. Will he get the power down on that Suzuki at the end of the oh. street? Oh! No, 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 no. Oh. Wheeled all the way across, and he is down. He's hurt.